we got new equipment, new ductwork in the whole house now. And so each of our duct runs coming to the supply grills have a manual damper in them that we can open and close. So we can actually adjust the manual dampers if we are overkilling it in one space and balance it throughout the house. So first things first, let's find out what every vent is putting out before we start making adjustments. I'm starting right here. We'll go ahead and zero this out. This one's got 60. 58, right about 60 CFM. Yeah, just gotta let it sit long enough so that it's actually getting a consistent reading. And then what I'm doing is just marking that in each of the spaces. Now that main area doesn't have we didn't put a lot of airflow to it um, initially because it's a shared space and they were overcooling it before and it was affecting the, the temperature of the um, it was affecting the thermostat which is out there in the hallway all right so this one's 152 can already see some balancing to do here. This is a corner wall, so there's going to be more heat. It also has a TV in the room. Well, the other one has an insulated wall on each side, and it's currently getting more airflow than this space. Okay, so this room in particular, we had a lot more CFM than we needed, um, which we oversized in the master bedroom, and we put dampers in because you can always damper down. It gives you full control when you oversize a little bit, and you put dampers in. But right now we're doing almost over two tons of the three ton upstairs system is in the master suite. So we need to drop that back. All right. Um, when you're ready, go ahead and close it down. Okay. And you can take it pretty much all the way. And then we'll open it up. All right. Let me know where you're at. That should be almost all the way closed. Okay. Good, we've cut it over half. That's great. Okay. All right, let's open it about 15%. With the damper, most of your control happens when it's nearly closed. Okay. All right, let me get that adjust a bit. Okay, let's go up a little bit more. I'm aiming for 150 on this. Okay, there's a little bit more. Man, you're such a pro. Just a hair more. I mean, just barely. Barely kiss it. Okay. All right, that was too much. Let's, let's bring it back a bit. Okay, I like that so far. 175. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to the other one in the bedroom. All right, let's uh, bring that one down. So of course, as you adjust multiple runs on the same junction box, you lower one down to where you want it, and then it increases the other one, because it's a balancing thing. So you have to overkill, you know, closing it down a little bit before you adjust the other side and you go back and forth. It just takes time. There it is. Okay, ready? Yep. Is it hot up there in the attic? No, it's not too bad. It's not the it's not the answer the audience wanted to hear. <laughs> uh, no, Alex are always lovely. It's a paradise up here. Nobody bothers you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> right. How's that? 
You made such a good difference. And just let it stabilize. Ooh, I like that. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.